to Tinseltown and the Lakers, Los Angeles, California, as we bring you an interconference rivalry here at the Staples Center. We're all set to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, joined as always by Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So, the Wizards five right now. Wall and Beal together in the backcourt. Chris Humphrey... is out there with Bertot and it's Pierce in a, a small forward position. Not really the shot they were looking for, but still they got it to go. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Defense, the Wizards. And here is Bryant. And Stoudemire slams it in. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Executed to perfect. I don't think we're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. Now here's Wall. Humphrey sets a pick for Wall. Shot clock at six. Goes up on the wing. There's the bucket. Good. Walls got his first basket. You know, it wasn't really hard to see why the Lakers struggled so much last year. The talent was down and also the defensive effort and focus was borderline embarrassing at times. Stoudemire with a screen on Wall. Bryant with it. Now Beal defending. 
I'll tell you what, for what's really a an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. Wall passes to Humphreys. The kick out to Pierce. Kobe with the steal. Here's Selmans. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. As you said, with the Lakers last year, their defense was near the bottom in a lot of categories. Opponents averaged almost 110 points on them. Free throw good Salmons. Well, it was a bit of a mix between effort and planning and personnel for the Lakers and their defensive struggles. Well, they would give up the most points in the paint and fast break points over the course of the season. And you give up easy chances like that, you're not winning. Now here's Wall. Pass to Pierce. Goes up to the strike, and Davis pulls it down. You know, that's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jumper. I think it happens far too often. Outside Rondo, the feed to Stoudemire. Outside for Rondo. Back to Stoudemire. Dives for it. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Outside Rondo. Six on the shot clock. Heel again. It's Bryant. And again, the Lakers, no good. Not really the start they wanted. They missed three of their first four shots from the field. And Wall kicks to Beal. Gorgot with the screen for Beal. Gorgot inside. Plays it up and banks it in. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. The Lakers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Rondo again, Wall. Stoudemire with a screen on Wall. Rondo dishes to Stoudemire. Outside for Rondo. The good looking shot from the wing. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. All with it. out with the screen for Wall. There's Beal with the three. The Lakers have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Outside Rondo. Lock at six. Baseline jumper. Here's Davis. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over it. Chris Humphrey is one of the lone veterans, Steve, last season on a rebuilding Celtics team. Well, he was really uh, a salary cap piece in that trade that brought Garnett and Pierce to Brooklyn. Uh, so, yeah, the minutes, you know, limited uh, by the needs of the Celtics to play younger players. But uh, for the Celtics, I mean, they, they were actually better on both ends when he was on the court. Now here's Wall following the miss by Kobe Bryant. It's Beal on the wing. He's covered by Rondo. Beal's shot is good. Lakers trailed by four. And 
for Humphreys last season to return to form with his mid-range jump shot. Very much um, value added. He's dangerous from that high post area. Now here's Stoudemire. A little shot fake there, got the D out of position. Now here's Wall. Gord's out with his green on Ronda. Pierce inside the three point line. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. You talk about Humphrey's shooting ability, a career year at the free throw line. Shot it at over 81%. Now here's Rondo. Here's Stoudemire. True on the 14 footer. Stoudemire's got six. The Wizards have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Outside wall. It's Beal on the wing. The 17 footer. Beal can't get that one to fall. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for you. Selman. And the Lakers tack on two more. Maury Stoudemire still an efficient scorer attacking the rim. The problems have been at the defensive end of the floor where last season he fouled four times more than he blocked a shot. Not a great ratio. And so he's got to continue to work defensively. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. And Amari, he's owed around $45 million over this season and next. And that's a huge contract. Still a great score, but as we discussed, he's got to defend at a better level, and rebound at a higher rate, man more minutes on this team, and we'll see if he can make that happen. Nick Young's checked in. For Washington, Nene, he's checked in for Humphreys. Butler comes in for Pierce. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Beal. Now here's Wall. Nene with the screen on Ronda. Porter passes to Wall. Tanked in off the glass. Wall's got it all tied up now for the Wizards. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that.